Howdy pregnancy partners, so today I'm going to tell you some things that nobody told me about pregnancy. Now some of these things might just be related to being young and pregnant, but there are definitely some general things that I think everyone will ex have experienced. So during the first trimester I had no idea that your sense of smell actually increases like a shitload. I could smell things like that I've never smelled before and I had a massive aversion to coffee and I could, the smell of coffee was so strong to me that it made me feel so sick so yeah nobody told me that your sense of smell increases as much as it actually does. Something that has been really annoying lately is nipple pain and I don't mean just my boobs feeling sore and tender I mean my actual nipples burn. Like this isn't all the time and this might be TMI but when I am cold especially my nipples burn and it is so so painful nothing I do can stop it um, it'll last like maybe an hour maybe 10 minutes but when it happens I just go like this and I'm like please pass please calm down so nipple pain is definitely something that nobody told me about another thing is that you gotta get used to nobody really caring about how you are anymore and this is funny because my whole life I always thought that being pregnant is kind of like these women that are pregnant have this aura about them and I don't know like people seem to really think pregnant people are special but I haven't really found that I feel special at all being pregnant um, nobody really cares about how I am anymore it's just oh so how's the baby doing how's the bub doing oh how did your skin go literally none of your friends will probably even ask you how you are anymore and it's a little bit hard to cope with when you feel like you are the one going through all the stress and all the back pain and peeing every five minutes and everyone just wants to know how the bub is another thing that is related to that is rude questions I didn't realize how many people there are that actually ask really rude or intrusive questions so a couple that I've had is people actually wanting to know the name and this isn't like family members sorry I am sick my voice sounds terrible but this isn't just like family members asking me it's like friends that I'm not even close with are what are you naming him and yes we have chosen a name no I am not going to tell you it's none of your business <laughs> another rude question that comes with being young I suppose is everybody assumes it was an accident it was unplanned it wasn't meant to happen and yes in my situation it was unplanned but if you watch my first pregnancy update you will realize that this could be my only baby and I see this as a massive blessing I was on the pill I wasn't being you know I was using protection and I wasn't being careless but the fact that I've already had one miscarriage and I have this baby I thought like this is a massive blessing so for people to just assume that oh like they were un like it was unplanned they weren't using protection like how dumb of them well up yours because this baby is a blessing another rude question how will you afford it you know what this question really irks me because I had a job while I was pregnant and when I told them I was pregnant I lost my job so yes everyone thinks oh my god they're so immature they're having a baby they can't afford it we have the most supportive family and friends plus my partner works so hard he works his ass off and we might not have the best of everything but we will give the best of what we can oh what about travel what about your career there's going to be time to travel and have my career like being a young mum doesn't mean that I these things are disappeared out of my life I might not be able to go to Germany and get drunk every single night but I don't really want to do that anymore now the next one's a bit of a TMI but nobody ever told me what a mucus plug was that you even have a mucus plug that you can lose it um, which I have lost bits of already and nobody told me when it happened so I had no idea what this big chunky glob of stuff was in my underwear I was like what the fuck is this like I thought I was like having another miscarriage it was hectic thank you Google for letting me know that it's okay and um, of course mine didn't have any blood in it so it wasn't an emergency or blah 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 my next thing that I want to talk about is 
I never realized how bad the hormones are and I always thought that they were just kind of going to be like pregnancy, oh sorry not pregnancy, like period hormones, or how you get hormonal, you get moody, but it's like worse than that and it never goes away. I feel like it has gone away a little bit if you watched my last update, but I have been moody to the point where I flat out just hate my partner some days. And it's just everything that he does will just be so annoying. And he's the kind of person who his personality is like he's affectionate by doing funny things or making fun of me or you know doing things that I used to love. Now I'm so sensitive and I get offended when he does things and it is horrible because I know that he's just being loving and that is who he is but at the moment I'm just like don't pick on me no matter what he does and I'm sorry babe. Also, the amount of discharge that you get when you're pregnant, like, okay, so you're not on your period, but you have to wear a penny liner like every single day because you will be leaking fluid that you never even knew that you had. Nobody ever told me how much my changing body would affect my self-esteem. I've always had a slim figure and I've always been really proud and I've always loved my body. And it's to a point now where this might be because I'm young and nobody else is pregnant that's my age, really. But I feel a little bit like a fat cow and I just, I don't know how there are these pregnancy goddesses out there that make it look so beautiful and they love their pregnancies. I honestly, I'm not enjoying being pregnant and like that might be terrible but I'm not enjoying being pregnant. I feel unattractive and my sex drive is through the roof, which nobody told me ever. I always thought that when you get pregnant, you lose your sex drive. But my sex drive has been through the roof and feeling this unattractive makes rejection really, really rough. Also, I always thought like the, one of the hardest things would be giving up alcohol um, while I'm pregnant because I used to drink every single weekend. Oh, stereotypical young mum. But um, it has been hard, but what's been harder is still going and hanging out with my friends and not that I'm not drinking, but it's just I'm so tired, like I'm exhausted all the time. I have the worst back pain. The baby's moving in uncomfortable positions. Um, I'm more hormonal. I just want to go home usually. And I never realized all that stuff that comes along with it. Like, it's not just the fact that I'm sober. It's the fact that I have all these other pregnancy symptoms, like going to the toilet when you're hanging out with a big group of boys and they're having fires in the backyard and they can just go and take a piss like wherever they want I've got to get up and go into the house like every half an hour because my bladder is that bad it's just it's not fun also morning sickness wow I never realized that morning sickness could come back nobody has ever told me that in my entire life um, and I have vomited three times in the last week and I am 24 weeks pregnant so yeah, yesterday morning, I'll tell you more about it in my 25 week update that's coming up, but I vomited into my hand while I was driving and it hit me like a ton of bricks and I've just, oh, it's just so frustrating. I hate morning sickness. Plus, another thing is nobody cares when you complain. You might be feeling like your back is actually going to fall off your body. It's that painful, your back is that bad. And you complain about it a few times a day to your partner, to your family, and they're just kind of like, yeah, whatever, like, it can't be that bad, like, because I'm complaining about it so much that, you know, it can't be that bad. Nobody really cares when you complain about stuff, about your lack of sleep, about your being hormonal, about you being hungry. Nobody really takes it seriously, even though in your head it is the most serious thing, and it's really hard to feel like, I don't know, sometimes I just sit down and I just feel like nobody cares. And yeah, nobody told me that pregnancy would be like that. But lastly, on a positive note, nobody told me the bond I would be able to have with my baby before he's even born. I have this incredible bond with him and I know that not every mother goes through this, but let me tell you, I have never felt such a strong connection with something that I haven't even seen before. It's like every single night, I'm not alone, he is there, um, I might wake up at like 3 a.m. but you know it's okay because he might kick me a couple of times and then I feel like oh he's kicking me and I just I feel like I'm so in love with him already and I just cannot wait to meet him nobody told me that you can have a relationship with your baby while they're still in your belly 
Alrighty guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, maybe learnt some things or just like to hear me vent, who knows. Please subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this video. I do make pregnancy updates every single week. I will link them here. Um, so please check out my other videos and do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I might see you next week. Bye.